Hey everyone, welcome back to The Printosaurus. I'm Aaron, Happy New Year. I hope you guys are having a good start to your new year. I have our A1 Mini back on the table. It's been about 10 months uh, since I've last done a video with this machine, and that was A1 Mini upgrades. Uh, lots changed since then, so I wanna cover uh, some new upgrades that I found very useful, and I think these complement this machine perfectly. It's a great machine, uh, prints very well, and these are just some creature comforts that make this even better. I also have some AMS Lite upgrades I'm gonna share with you, so those that have both AMS Lite and the A1 Mini, uh, this will complement one another wonderfully. So we're gonna jump right into it, and I'm gonna share those with you. Before we get too far along with the upgrades that I'm gonna share with you today, um, my main rule with uh, this stuff here is anything we talk about has to be printable on the printer that we're talking about. Uh, and the reason why is because what if this is your only printer? So I'm talking about an upgrade that you may not even be able to print. That doesn't make any sense. So everything today prints on the A1 Mini, uh, so no issues there whatsoever. All right, so a first upgrade is all about storage. It's about managing things more efficiently. Um, we have a poop chute um, filament catcher also attached to uh, this. This thing is fantastic. We've got drawers in the back. We've got a front drawer that supports the Gridfinity system. Uh, if you haven't heard of the Gridfinity system, it is a fantastic way to organize. Uh, and you're pretty much unlimited uh, in terms of what you can design for it. Um, there's a plug-in for Fusion that you can use where you can make your own uh, storage bins and everything. There's also tons and tons of Maker World, Thingiverse, printables. You can find almost anything you need uh, for the Gridfinity storage system. So I was very happy to see that uh, that was incorporated in the setup. And what I have here, um, I printed some bins. Uh, so I have a basic uh, storage bin. I have one for um, my hot ends. And I have one that just does basic tools, uh, Allen wrenches, things like that. And they all fit in and secure in that Gridfinity system, which locks them in place. Very nice. Um, so let me pull this printer off and I will show you uh, the setup that we're talking about here. So I pulled out that front drawer. It simply slides into the front here. Uh, but this is a 24 hour print, so give yourself some time. Uses about a roll of filament. Um, you have accessories you can attach here on the side. Uh, in my case, I printed the filament chute, which is uh, definitely needed with the A1 Mini because it just falls on the floor. Otherwise, um, you've got some storage here in the back. And this thing goes together relatively simple. It is a slotted system, so you have four modules. They slot in place, there's clips, and then there's a front piece. So you slide that front piece on on one side, uh, you do your front and rear module, and this thing just clips together like so. Uh, very, very simple. Uh, these pieces here, you have a top and bottom piece. They're slotted, um, or keyed, I should say, rather, and they just clip in place on the top. So very, very easy to print. No supports needed whatsoever. Uh, the profiles I used on Maker World worked extremely well. Everything was printed on the A1 Mini. And again, give yourself about 24 hours for that print. The A1 Mini secures nicely in place. It's slotted uh, and there is no movement whatsoever. Uh, an added option that you can do, they include the files, is TPU feet. Um, so let me show you those real quick. So on the bottom of this unit, um, I printed these TPU feet and glued them in place. And that really, once you get the A1 Mini on there, it keeps this thing from moving at all. Another feature that I find very useful is we have a build plate, right? What do we do with it? Well, right here on the front is a slot that we can stick our build plates in. So we can contain everything in this unit, which makes, it's awesome, right? Um, that's you know, that's all I have to say about this one is everything fits in this unit, tools, uh, additional storage if you need it. So if you have some clippers or anything like that, print your heart away with the Grid Infinity setup, add whatever bins you want, fully customize it there in the front. We have our filament catcher, the poop chute, and we also have storage for our build plates. So our a printer that is this compact, it is very nice to be able to just kind of have everything 
uh, within it in the footprint of the A1 Mini, keeping everything relatively small and nicely organized. So by far my favorite upgrade that I've done in the last year for this A1 Mini is this storage setup. It is fantastic. All right, so our next upgrade that I did um, is a support device and it supports your PTFE tubes. That's this red thing here in the front. Uh, there's some slots here on your tool head. It clips in place and it offers a clip in the back for your cable here for your electronics. And then on the front, uh, there's four holes for your PTFE tubes. Now, why would we want this? What does it do? Uh, your AMS hub here um, isn't very well supported. I've had one break. I've seen people online talk about them breaking. Uh, so running the PTFE tubes through this and into this adds some additional support. It also adds a little bit of management there so it keeps them a little more upright. And it's just a nice complement for this machine to keep things nice and neat and well supported. On the other side, I have another upgrade here. Uh, same deal, it is a support piece. Uh, this one supports the electronic cable uh, that goes over to the tool head and it just keeps everything at a nice angle. So you've got this tool head cutter over here and you know with this off, this cable can slouch, things like that. It gets in the way of the tool head. This just eliminates the possibility of that and it keeps things nice and neat. So another simple upgrade, about 30 minutes to print there for this one and an hour. Uh, give yourself an hour for the red uh, PTFE support on the tool head. So both great upgrades that really just help with cable management and give you some longevity with the uh, AMS hub uh, there and keep it from breaking. This video is brought to you by PCBWay, pcbway.com. Jump online and take advantage of their New Year sale they have going on right now where you could save up to 50%. From January 1st through the 12th, this sale will be running and you can uh, take advantage of some free coupons they have available uh, and also up to 50% off your 3D printing or CNC machining needs. So jump online and check them out. Website is laid out great, customer service is fantastic, and they are easy easy to work with. PCBWay, pcbway.com. Build plates. The PEI build plate that it comes with is fantastic. It works well, but uh, what if you want to step away from that and try some newer build plates? Um, I covered the CryoGrip uh, build plates by BQ. They are wonderful. They work really well. Uh, no issues with those, and I would recommend them uh, for the A1 Mini. I couldn't get one in on time. I only have them for my X1 Carbons, and I like I said, I did a review on those and they worked wonderfully. A newer build plate that came out during that time uh, that I was able to get for the Mini is the SuperTac build plate that Bamboo offers. So this one is very, very similar to the Frostbite in terms of holding. And uh, also Bamboo recommends this for PLA and PETG only as well. But uh, almost no heat is required. This thing is super sticky. Um, so in terms of what it offers performance wise, uh, most likely you're going to experience less warpage, which is fantastic, and maintenance. Um, plate's very forgiving. It's bad practice to touch all over this thing, but if you happen to, uh, it's very forgiving. Um, you don't have to maintain this as much as say a PEI build plate. Um, now, when you do clean it, no solvents, just use soap and water, um, but uh, you get a uh, longer term in between your maintenance there. Uh, I tested it by touching all over this thing. I've done a lot of prints with it. It holds extremely strong. I think you'll be very happy with the upgrade and it's almost no heat. So uh, I was able to do PLA at the super tax setting, which I think was 40, um, 40 degrees Celsius. So it's down from 55, which is uh, your typical PEI uh, PLA setting. So uh, a little bit of energy savings there as well. So here you can see our AMS light and it looks quite different. Um, the vertical stand here that I printed, why did I do that? Well, I didn't have the height anymore for this um, when I had it as a top mount. So with my new setup and how I have things uh, arranged, I was looking for a way to minimize the footprint. And I like the idea of going vertical. Um, with it mounted at the angle, um, it, you know, you've got you know, quite a bit of space that it's taken up. This keeps everything in line. It's no taller really than the height of the AMS light. Uh, so everything works there. And, you know, it's just easy to manage. So um, 
for your PTFE tubes, uh, there's four slots here on that uh, support piece that we talked about earlier. Um, what I do to make that easy to install, I'll show you here, is take your tubes, get it close, and just kind of feed them into um, the top ports here. You don't have to press them in place yet, but feed them in, and then once you've got them in, uh, then you can kind of guide them into their ports and press them in place. It just makes it a little bit easier uh, to get those attached. And of course, when we're on film, things don't go in as well. All right, so we're all attached there. We're good to go. Um, so back to this guy. Uh, what else did I do? Um, labeling. So uh, it sounds minimal, but uh, these have two purposes really. So when we mounted this, I wanted the cable mounted at the bottom. And when you do that, it turns the labeling of the AMS hubs or AMS motors upside down. So I found um, some labels that also support the PTFE tubes, um, which you know, just kind of keeps them a little bit straighter, gives them a little bit better routing. Um, but uh, they support those tubes and I was able to find ones that had reverse uh, numbers on there. So uh, when it's mounted in this orientation, one, two, three, and four are now facing the right direction. I know it's a minimal detail and you, uh, once you get used to this thing, you know what side is what. But uh, for those that don't, um, or those that want uh, some labeling, to is a nice reminder. This was a very nice touch. Uh, took about uh, 45 minutes or so to print. I did it in two colors even. The last thing on our list of recommendations or upgrades for your AMS light here is this guy here. So what is it? Um, your AMS light uh, has these spool holders here and they tension in place um, when you push the spool on. Works great for the bamboo spools, no issues really. But if you use an aftermarket spool, um, sometimes your spool can fall off. So these are a nice addition that just lock it in place. The way they work is they just have clips and when you push, I'll show you here, take this one off. So when you push the spool in place, it opens up and it tensions in place. And then this has slots, right? So all you do is you stick it on and then you can twist these in place. And then now when you push on the spool, um, it's not coming off. So it just adds a little bit of security there. Um, and you know, it, it complements what we have going on here. And that is, you know, improving the usability of your printer and expanding some of the functionality. Uh, in this case, it safely secures your aftermarket spools. Um, they make these for uh, larger diameter spools as well um, to keep things in place. Uh, 58 millimeter, which is the Sun Lu uh, diameter. Uh, you can also, uh, print the hub adapters for those. So these work well with those adapters and they're just uh, added security and securing your spools. You could even use them with the bamboo spools if you just want, like I said, that added security. So another thing that just really just complements what we have going on. And these are the upgrades. This is it. So these are all the things that I've printed recently um, that I feel like would add great value for you. Um, and they just work really well together. My favorite by far is the storage system and being able to have that uh, filament catcher, the poop chute attached to it. Um, before I had just a little bin that we printed uh, and then we had a little deflector um, and it, I mean, it worked, it worked great, especially at the time. Um, but you know, things evolve, things get better. And this setup as a whole was just designed so much better. And then being able to store the build plate, having a Gridfinity system in the front, and then even, you know, small things like our AMS here, having these numbered, uh, the gray on gray, you know, sometimes that's hard for people to see. Um, so adding a little bit of color with our numbers, a little uh, two-tone setup there with the red and the black, uh, just makes things a little easier to distinguish, you know, which spool holder is what. Um, so these are the upgrades. These are what I recommend. Comment, like, subscribe. I will talk to you guys in the next video. I think I've taken up enough of your time today. Uh, Happy New Year again. Um, I am filming this on New Year's Day. I didn't have a lot going on. So um, enjoy, enjoy. Uh, and uh, I hope 2025 brings you everything you guys want and more. And I hope your families uh, had a great holiday as well. So thank you guys. See you next time. Bye.